titled Life is Like a Wheel of Cheese. Give it up for Joshua, everybody. What's up, Westover? Oh, I don't sing. You rap? I don't rap. So why'd you decide not to go? Oh, I don't do nothing. That wasn't my song. You heard me. Life is a wheel of cheese. It is a wheel we run on. It is a wheel we eat. But life is a wheel of cheese. One cannot be an individual while one is a part of a whole. But when a slice of that wheel is cut, that singular piece of cheese is whole in itself, no longer being a part of something larger, something declaring itself as more important. Yes, the slice is smaller, but it is isolated. Therefore, it is freed from the captivity of the general norm. Only in that freedom can individuality be derived. My best friend, my hamster friend Hercules died a few days ago, but I didn't cry for him. Only now am I overwhelmed with melancholy. <laughs> what becomes of us if we can no longer grieve our beloved? What are we then? Pathetic. What is a man? What is a hamster? We are all hamsters. My friend Hercules was a hamster who knew life for what it was. A cage, a lifeless dull fish tank that keeps you for the short life we have and is your bed when you are dead and stretched out lying in wood chips after a long day of your same old routine. That's how I last saw him. Lying in wood chips! Hercules had a good life, but to have a good life apparently isn't a good reason to love it. Hercules always tried to get out. Some days he was hysterical, other days he seemed fine. And at those moments, I was convinced he must have come to find comfort in his slice of life. But other days, the desperate prisoner wanting escape would return and I would remain dumbfounded. Life is a wheel of cheese. And that's how man gets you. They convince you to love life, but we always find a need to want to escape from it. One cannot be an individual while one is a part of a whole. One cannot have their own opinion, their own outlook, but since our love for life stubbornly remains intact, we eat away at the cheese, whether it's Colby, American, cheddar, Swiss, we eat away at it like we're possessed. But despite each bite we take, it will never be something other than cheese. Oh, cruel world, oh, cruel cage, how you drag us through this life like cheese along a grater. Flakes of ourselves flake away until there's nothing left. I would not eat your cheese anymore. I can switch my diet to eating lettuce, nuts, corn. I'll get a recipe book for things exclusively not. Fruits of the oppressor, that's all cheese is. It's, oh crap. Okay, well, I'll stop tomorrow. Maybe I'll stop tomorrow. All that matters is that I'll stop. I will, I 